Thank you. 
Hello? Huh? Hi, okay. I'm just checking, you know. <laughs> Yes, I, I didn't know how this was going to work. It's, it's I know. That's what I'm saying. It's a little different. Yeah, I'm on my um, computer. Trying to see how I... There, I look straight ahead. <laughs> there you go. Right. Hey, Will. Oh, he's muted too. Hello. Hello. Small crowd, huh? Uh, not for long. How are you? All right, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Everybody's coming in without their without their video on. Probably nobody wants to be Jeffrey Tuvind. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Poor guy. Can't understand that. Agenda. Hey, Bill. How are you? First video conference without needing to wear a mask. It's nice. I know. It's good to see you without a mask. Well, I went downstairs so that we didn't have the, the feedback problem between Ayana and I like the last time. Oh, okay. You're still echoing pretty good, though. Well, uh, I, I went down to the, the security office. It's echoey because there's no furniture in here yet. Yeah. Is that a hint? <laughs> Did you were you able to call that uh, stakeholder back? Yeah. Is that in our is that in our district? 
No, because uh, he's right on Vine, and our district ends on the west side of Vine. He's on the east side of Vine, so he's out of the district. Uh, he must have been happy about that. I mean, it's, it's out of our. We don't. We have no legal authority outside of our jurisdiction. Outside of the district, there's nothing we could do. Yeah. Right, so it's a different system. It's the you can see the images are a lot. The resolution is much better. I think people probably struggle to get on this a little. It's a little different, but it's not. Right. Yeah, I'm getting calls. Hello. Hello. Oh, yes, where everyone's joining. Hey, 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 hi, Bill. Uh, three. Hey. We're starting at three with our board of directors meeting. Good. Okay. So we'll. So just go to the email that I sent, the meeting notice, and just click on the link. Okay, all righty. Okay, see you soon. Bye. So did it when you logged it when you when you clicked on the link, what happens? It goes to your browser and it just asks you to sign in. You just you had a download. You had a download. But it was very quick. Oh good. Hi China. Okay. Can everybody hear me? Just to make sure my mic is working. Yes. I Thank you. <laughs> that was a problem before, and I didn't realize halfway through the meeting it wasn't working, and then I was trying to fix it, and it wouldn't work, and I was like, what am I? Wait a minute. I don't know. <laughs> That's where we should have our meeting, shock. <laughs> How are you? Good. Hi, everybody. I'm well. We're sitting here. Hey, Thor. What's going on there? Oh, Ron. I got. Uh, thank you for that. I know. I just noticed. <laughs> Stop putting holes in my. You know, I don't miss often, but uh, I'm good, buddy. Uh, How are you? Well, it it covers up the holes you already have. You know. <laughs> there was a couple. <laughs> they were tosses, I think. Yeah, yeah. I have my I have my dartboard just like that outside on a fence, and I have to set it. I had to set it up like almost a foot lower than uh, you know regulation because I don't. I throw all my darts over the over the fence into my neighbor's yard. <laughs> Lawn darts all of a sudden, huh? Yeah. Yeah, which made it much easier to throw, you know, when it's down like at about five feet. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe just dig a, a one foot hole or something that he stepped into, and uh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Wait, that's a good idea. <laughs> I think it's a bad idea, but it's an idea. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll dig a hole for myself here at some point. Don't worry. <laughs> Or buy a backstop and throw it on there instead of a hoop. <laughs> Good idea. Wow. Everybody's here. <laughs> David was here and then it's not. Do you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Okay. Are we close to a quorum yet, Diana? We we have thirteen. Oh, so why don't we start the meeting because um, we got a time constraint today. Yes. All right. So it's uh, uh, three oh four. I will call this meeting to order. Welcome everybody um, to our continued Zoom meeting, and this is going to be abbreviated 
meeting with a hard stop at 3.30 because we have our annual stakeholders meeting at 3.30 and we can also stay on the line and, and we'll just continue. Um, is there any uh, public uh, comment or public on the line? Hearing none. Um, can I have a motion to approve the meeting minutes? I'll make a motion to approve meeting minutes. Thank you. I, I second. Uh, was that Will? Yeah, thank you, Will. Uh, any discussion or do you guys need a chance to look at the minutes? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All those in favor of approving the minutes, say aye. Aye. I abstain. I wasn't here. Okay. Same with me. Uh, abstain. Any uh, objections? Okay, the motion passes. Uh, okay, the executive committee. Well, as you know, we'll have the annual stakeholders meeting at 3.30 to stay on the line. And um, no wine and food this year, but we're doing the best we can. Um, we'll go to the executive director's report, Diana. Quickly, so the uh, second quarter newsletter was uploaded to the website and also sent out in an email blast. And um, that all went out a few days ago. We are now moving on to the third quarter newsletter. And if anybody would like to put in your suggestions, just please go ahead and email me those suggestions and we'll get on that. Um, clean activity report, everything is, is going great. Uh, everything has been smooth. Uh, we did have a, a uh, meeting last week. We renewed our contract with Clean Street, which I'm sure that Thor will review. Um, the median landscaping update is that we have engaged a uh, landscaper called the Garden of Eve, and they will begin uh, their work on the landscaping of the medians beginning of next month. All of the uh, candidate applications have been mailed out and uh, we've already been, I've already received a few applications already. And um, by the middle of November, we will start interviewing applicants. All right. That's all I have for today. Thank you. That was excellent. And um, Thor, uh, we'll move right along to you with the um, finance report. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Um, very quickly, uh, we're continuing our, our uh, cost, you know, kind of savings, as you put it, um, or conservative nature of spending. Um, if you looked at uh, our profit and loss from September, uh, we paid uh, our nominal fees or our typical fees for uh, uh, safety, which is just over $31,000. Um, clean and green, we did um, uh, uh, trim all the trees in our medians. So that was a one-time expense of um, $4,700 uh, on that one. And it's really our only outstanding uh, uh, expenditure other than just our, our typical monthly dues. So that was uh, just uh, uh, over $24,000. And so for the month, we spent just under $70,000, which is in line with our, you know, uh, conservatism at this point um, for this year. Uh, our balance sheet looks good, uh, 263,000, almost 264,000 in our bank account as of the end of the month. Uh, again, we've uh, gotten rid of our liabilities uh, on our balance sheet. So our total assets are 320, 322.15, as well as our uh, liabilities and equity. But looking very good. I want to thank all of the committee chairs for, for just going along with this program. All right. That was great, Thor. We're in great shape and um, we're under budget. Um, why don't we continue with the clean and green report, Thor? Okay. Well, uh, as uh, Diana just mentioned, we are engaged with Clean Street, uh, number one. Um, we did not have a meeting this month, but uh, in general, we're very happy with Clean Street and the services they're providing us on a, a daily basis. So we met with Rick and Joaquin. Um, it went very well. They're very happy working with our bid. 
Um, so we're extending them and we have um, a proposal and we're gonna just, just fine tune that on a couple matters, but basically we're looking to extend them through uh, all of 2021 and we should be able to hem that up in the next, I guess, week or two. Uh, also, as Diana has mentioned, we've, you know, engaged, we, we reached out to a number of, of, our, uh, of landscaping architects to help us uh, further our designs and, and, and give us some, some thoughtful uh, 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 of paths of, uh, to make our meetings what we've all expect and desire. Uh, Garden of Eva is still, as far as I know, Diana, uh, last time we chat, they haven't gotten back to us. We want to understand what the costs were for each individual of our six medians, and then we'll take it to the committee and um, and find out how we want to approach those in the future. But uh, we really like Ava and her daughter. Um, her daughter went on vacation, so we're waiting for that uh, proposal from them and kind of outlining where we're at with it. But um, that's ongoing and uh, we're happy with them and we look forward to, to moving forward uh, contingent on, on what pricing is and what their thoughts are. All right, anyone have any questions for Thor on the um, medians or anything? Hearing none? Uh, oh. No, but I want to go back. Uh, Jeff, let me go back to what he said about the clean streets. Oh, yes. Um, the idea was, so everyone's aware, was to, uh, it's around 20 grand a month. The contract extends through the end of December to give them comfort, but we'll either have a 30 or 60 day right to terminate uh, if we find they become like LABT. I don't think that'll happen, but that's essentially what we're doing. We've locked them into about $20,000 a month through the next year. And I think that's a, well, first of all, it's a savings over what we were doing and the quality is better. I just thought I would uh, refine that point. Yeah, Thank we're you. Uh, extremely happy with Cleats and so are the stakeholders. Thank you, David. Um, all right, uh, Ashley, the marketing committee. Okay, hi everyone. Um, so a couple updates uh, with the marketing committee. We have Ryan has started the work and taking over the website updates. So um, as Diana mentioned, we've uploaded the second quarter newsletter and that's gone out. And um, he's also uploading agendas and making some progress. And um, we've discussed even at, at some point in the future, adding a calendar of events for, um, for some of the things going on. So the, up, the website is coming along and regarding social media, we have our, our team, which involves Kat and Mackenzie and Ryan. And essentially we have created a, um, a form that um, Kat or Mackenzie can create the content and the hashtags for any of the social media posts and they will upload it. And Ryan is using Hootsuite to um, time out the post and put them on particular days. So we're in a good, a good flow so far. I think you know it's been about two weeks and everybody's been, um, you know, uploading the content. Everything looks good. The posts are coming out nice, and Ryan's been really on top of it. So it's nice to have someone kind of essentially managing the the social media and its content. Um, so and then regarding the brochure. Um, we are still working on that, right, Diana? Any other particular updates you'd like to mention about the brochure? Mackenzie is uh, working on the copy. I have the design. I've submitted that print for a quote in advance. And uh, as soon as we have the uh, copy, we can begin laying it in. ETA is hopefully by the end of the month to get out to print. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also in the meantime, has the uh, security team also been going out and um, talking to the businesses and starting to work on the database, confirming some of the database? Well, right now there we've uh, assembled forms and we've assembled assembled the list for them to begin to go out. Where we do need the brochure, so as soon as that's ready, we'll get going on that. Okay. Sounds good. So that's essentially the marketing uh, report. If anyone has any questions.
All right. Thank you, Ashley. Uh, marketing is going to be very exciting uh, coming up. A lot of good things are happening with the database and what you're doing. Thank you. Um, all right. Well, we'll move to the nominating. Uh, as Diana said, we have three applications, candidates. We're still collecting. And um, if anyone has anyone they want to submit, uh, we welcome it. Um, and uh, the people who are up for renewal, please get your applications in uh, for the bylaws. And um, we do have some people that will not be staying on the board. So we do have some openings uh, and uh, we're looking for good people. Um, okay. Any questions on nominating? David, you have anything to add or? No, I just have to wait for a second. No, that we're we've got. You know, we'll get some more applications. I feel because I've heard about a few others that are going to come in than the slots, and we'll address that when we evaluate the quality of them. Because you may want to increase it or whatever. They can take my place, but I think that we'll get some good people. So we'll. So you know, when they come in, the deadline's the fifteenth of November. So we'll just Jeff will have a meeting right after that. I, I think we're going to get excellent people. I do too. It, it's exciting, and the bid's doing great work. All right. Um, no, if there's no questions on nominating, we'll move to Miguel with the Plum Committee. Is Miguel? Oh, there's Eric. Um, um, I don't see I don't see Miguel with us today. I there is somebody in the waiting room, but there's no identification. It's a call in user, so I'm hesitant to Albert. It could be Aaron Wilder. Uh, no, I just let Aaron in. All right. So um well did Miguel uh, RSVP today? He he did. I mean I could let this person in, it might be Miguel. All right. Well, if it's not him, yeah. then tell him he has to wait uh, 15 more minutes, you know. Uh, okay, let's try. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> So it's the same as last month. But we can move on. Um, Correct. All right. So uh, the safe committee, Ferris. We, oh, there he is. Ferris? Hello? 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 Do you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, Officer, Officer Ayana and Officer Bill, if you hear me, can you go ahead and make your report? Bill, you're mute. You're mute, Bill. Oh, there I go. I'm requesting them to unmute. Uh, one thing that's a little bit different than we and focusing on this month and last month is we are going to be uh, almost exclusively eliminate the security officers from using the mobile. We want them almost exclusively out on bike patrol to be visible. And to that end, we've just had all of our bikes reserviced and all the headlights and everything else fixed. So starting Monday, uh, we're going to be almost exclusively out on bike. I know we've been talking about cost savings and we should see a reduction in our our uh, fuel bill. Ayana, you have anything else you want to? Um, the only other the thing to add on to the security update would be we are currently working on some of the the activity templates that we're actually using for the officers when they're going out to the field and recording the data. So we're gonna uh, we're tackling a lot of the different calls for service. We're starting to pinpoint and narrow things down a little bit more, uh, speaking to a couple of the different businesses and seeing exactly what the needs are. 
and adjusting our calls for service to them to replicate uh, the needs that they actually have. So on the back end, we're working on a lot of uh, call for service changes and stuff like that that we're doing for the officers to document this and we can uh, go about that and, and include that in our report, our monthly reports that we actually do for statistical purposes and, and give that to you guys. That's the other thing that we're working on the back end as well. Do you guys have any okay. questions? How about, how about the homeless encampments? How is that going? Yes, yeah, so the homeless encampments, um, we are continuously, we've updated or we've changed the way we monitor them. So now we're doing it on a weekly basis. We're monitoring the encampments as far as tent locations, as well as RV locations. Um, we just recently did an update with some of our supervisors to include a lot of the data. The previous data that we had wasn't showing enough of the, the tent encampments that we actually have. The newest update that we just provided has a lot more tent encampments, a lot of more RV encampments. So those are areas that we definitely want to work with Clean Street to, to tackle and assist them. Now, these big encampments, uh, there is one thing that a lot of stakeholders don't understand about them is that we cannot physically remove the tent encampments. What we can do with street clean is uh, go to that location, speak to them, and in a diplomatic way, request to see if we can remove some of the, the trash that they have that we can't remove the actual tent locations as of this moment. Right. Yes. Um, okay, thank I have you. a quick question, actually. Yes, actually. So, so I was curious with the RVs. Now I know the parking restrictions are now um, gonna start taking effect again with LADOT. Yes. It, is it, should we be reporting at least the RVs um, since they are no longer allowed to be parking in those areas? Yes, that is something that we um, are moving towards with the RVs and the tent encampments to see what, what other things that we can go about and, and try to remove those from the location. So we can definitely uh, look into what other resources we can and, and report those RVs uh, to the Department of Parking Transportation and, and have them removed or at least cited and see what we can do with that. Yeah, because I know the one that's by our location is kind of one of the uh, the, the, the bigger know, ones. Yeah, the the drug kind of hangout. So if we can get rid of the RV, at least that might be a step in the direction of re removing where they're comfortable doing drugs. I don't know. Yes, absolutely. That route. We've also noticed we've also noticed that the encampments within our district are sort of migrating east. The the western half of uh, the district. It's it's actually gotten a lot better. Uh, even some of the encampments that are in and around this building have gotten a lot better in the last two, three weeks. But we've been noticing a migration uh, towards the east to uh, closer to, you know, around Lillian and Cole and places <laughs> in that area. Um, Bill and uh, Ayana, we have had, you know, several incidences as well over the past few weeks with um, stakeholders um, and encampments situations um, where stakeholders have become very um, upset with the situations and have, um, you know, uh, engaged with people living on the street. So we've had a few of those types of incidences, which since I've been here is, is new. And we're also having um, um, crate, the wooden crate enclosures being built up as well, and we're seeing a lot more of that. So they're not just yeah, they're not just tents; they're building actual structures. Yeah, right, like full-on structures. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, is there I, anything else? The vandalism too that Bill and Ayana are familiar with. Uh, the vandalism. They went. Uh, they broke. Uh, our uh, uh, windows, they did the same on a CIM project as well. It was pretty nasty at night. Yes, we actually did investigation on that. And we now that we have the cameras up here at our building, we were able to actually track down the individual that actually did that, the timestamp. And it started on La Brea. So he, he moved from the west side of La Brea, made his way down, Romaine, going eastbound. 
and continued to actually do a destruction all the way down Romaine. And it was outside of our camera view to see anything else that he was doing. So they four catch buildings. Him? There's I'm sorry? four buildings in total. Did you guys catch him? No, at the at the time of the incident, when we were looking at the timestamp, the incident happened uh, just before 10 o'clock. There was the officers weren't patrolling in that Romaine Street area when we got the notification from our other area, other security companies around the area. The suspect was already gone just minutes, about four minutes before our officers arrived on the location. Hmm. Okay. Hey, is there uh, anything, yes. anything else? Yeah, I was going to, uh, my, yeah, okay, I'm on. Um, yeah, if you can hear me, I was going to ask Ashley, she said uh, that uh, you'd observed some drug activity. Uh, and somehow you're muted, yeah. Yes. Uh, so, um, if you could, is this something that you could get on a camera to get some evidence? I mean, there's no camera in our view, um, and, you know, that corner building doesn't have any cameras, any lights, you know, that's one of the issues we've been trying to suggest to the property owners there to install some lights, but there's no tenants there right now. Um, I mean, I know the guy who's got the camper and, you know, unless, I mean, my, my thought is, you know, I don't know if it's better, if, for example, the stakeholders complain, if we are making reports to 311, um or if we suggest that the stakeholders always do it also do it like what is the best protocol to give them so that they also feel you know so they can also kind of help in that cause should they also should we suggest to them to also report their claims yes, to oh, oh, yes. Are, are we still Absolutely. are we still talking about narcotics yeah okay so yeah. It, it, as you all know that uh, there's a lot of things we uh, that we can't do uh, about what goes on there, there's there's still plenty of laws on the books where the police will enforce um, narcotics uh, violations as well as uh, prostitutions through vice. Um, and uh, I have some contacts uh, in, in uh, detectives at LAPD of narcotics. I was successful in the past um, sending them uh, videos uh, witnessing, uh, you know, consistent. Um, activity so this is this is one way that we can uh, actually uh, diminish some of the problems in our district and uh, maybe we can delve into that a little further in a in a uh, uh, security meeting yeah and, and i know we there was some discussion about cameras i don't know if they're active or not i don't remember about the cctv cameras if they exist if they don't exist but it might be a good idea to put them on the corners i, I don't remember what um do we I think, well, people are getting their own cameras. It's pretty easy these days, um, and and that's how you can uh, get your own footage and move it, move the camera around if necessary. Okay, so there's no bid or no security cameras. No, we don't have cameras anymore. Okay, got it. All right. What, right, right. Right. what cameras do we have? Do we have some? We have some. We do. Right, Diana. Yeah. Are, are they, they operational though? They're re what part do they cover? I think they only cover around the office, right? Right. 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 Um, yeah. So we just need to be cautious of the time. Of the Three minutes. We're going to be starting our stakeholder meeting. No, we, we have two minutes and I'd like to get Martha court in before we adjourn and go to the 3.30. So Martha, uh, you only have a couple minutes, but please go ahead. Hi, I'll be very quick. I'm happy to report that we're actually finally making some progress towards a safe arts reopening, not just for Los Angeles County, but for the state. I wish that I could speak more to the galleries and maybe China can, but I look on their websites, virtually all of them are open by appointment, which is largely the way they work anyway. A couple are still virtual gallery showings only. But for the live performance venues, um, guidelines have not been issued for drive-in performance, which is a little bit odd, but I know the LGBT Center has a show running right now. They've turned their part of their parking lot into a drive-in location. And the state has put out guidelines for outdoor performances um, 
when we get a little bit further down on the tier scale, once we get out of purple, I'm actually working on the team at the Los Angeles County level and the state level, the task force to um, actually build out those safety protocols. And that work is going really well, and we're looking to finish that this month. But we are, we're finally making some progress uh, where the state isn't saying you have to wait until the vaccine. They are saying that we can begin to see us a, a safe return to performance outdoors. Thank you. So lots of companies also are doing virtual programming. So I'm going to try to get those out on the, when the bid has a calendar, I'll try to have uh, postings of all the free virtual events that are going on because they're pretty excited. Thank you, Mark. Uh, uh, we're finally getting back to the arts. So it's exciting. Um, all right. Um, before we adjourn, any uh, old business? Any new business? The meeting is adjourned at 3.30, and we will go to our stakeholders meeting now. Okay, great. So I'm going to start letting people in. And just a reminder, everybody, to have your, your mute on so that there's no feedback when people come on the line. And I'm also going to start sharing my screen for our presentation. We're, we're going to um, wait a few minutes and let uh, people log on. They might have difficulty. So we'll, we'll, um, we'll start the meeting in about five minutes. Okay. Um, I want to give everyone uh, who uh, RSVP a chance to log on. Diana, maybe you can let me know when we have most of them. I will. There's Ferris Webby. <laughs> we will start in uh, another minute or so, Diana. That'd be great. Okay, uh, I'll just wait one more minute and give people a chance to uh, log on.
probably a few more people that will join, but we have almost everybody. Okay. Um, so we'll start. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I am Jeff Lester, the current president of the Hollywood Media District Bid, and it is my pleasure to welcome all of our stakeholders and guests to the 20th Annual 2020 Meeting of Stakeholders. Today, I'll report on what the bid does and what we have accomplished this past year. In addition, we are fortunate to have with us today Sergeant Shannon Ganey of the LAPD, who will say a few words about the city at this critical moment in our history. Our current executive committee includes David Bass Esquire, past president Miguel Padilla, vice president Thor Lee, treasurer, uh, vice Miguel Lee is the treasurer and Ashley Gardner is our secretary. Our board members are Will Annabelle, Scott Campbell, Martha Dempson, Ron Groper, Patrick Hickey, Rick Howard, Alex Masachi, Jacques Masachi, Ann Mertens, Sam Pan, Timothy Reagan, Brian Skane, Ina Shore, Ferris Weeby, and Aaron Wilder. Uh, we started the year by adding Diana Eisenberg as our executive director to run the day-to-day -day business of the bid. She brings her unique combination of administrative management, military medical training, and B degree in communications. Her responsibilities include meeting city deadlines, quarterly reports, and newsletters, city portal management, organizing committee meetings, planning committee agenda, writing meeting minutes, monitoring monthly expenses, bid correspondence, marketing graphics, and website design, taking the job of two people who did it in years past and doing an absolutely fantastic job. Thank you, Diana. The Hollywood Media District bid is composed of a volunteer board of fellow property owners or their appointed representatives. Our board's mission is to keep our district safe, clean, and green. We are also advocates to the city for improvements within our district. Together, we have a very strong voice. Our goal is to make our district a desirable, safe, and vibrant place to live, work, and visit. To these ends, we help property values and promote goodwill in the district. Our budget is $1.2 million. Uh, in terms of advocacy and property, one of the accomplishments this year was to lobby increases in FAR zoning for our stakeholders. We provided guidance and recommendations to the city regarding the new Hollywood community plan. We have received word that most of the properties south of Santa Monica Boulevard will increase from 1.5 to 1 FAR to 3.0 to 1 FAR. We have also redirected and refocused our security services with AGS, our security provider. We now have two captains, Captain Ayana Sepulveda and Captain Bill Stankowitz, leading a team of our security staff who operate from 5.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. The security team focuses on managing safety, stakeholder needs and concerns, as well as aiming to shift the focus from that of a rule of enforcement perspective to an approach of community engagement and outreach. The team also assists our cleaning crew when addressing areas that involve cleaning near the less than on the sidewalks, streets, and alleys. This, this year also makes the transition to our new cleaning service. This year, we contracted with Clean Street, whose director Rick Anderson and his team have significantly improved our streetscape services in the district. We particularly now focus on responding within one hour to requests by stakeholders for service of a particular problem, as well as maintaining daily trash pickups and power washing throughout the bid. The state simply submits their request for service or graffiti abatement to an automated service on our website that directs all service requests immediately to the executive director and Clean Street dis dispatch team. 
All service requests are then scheduled and followed up by Diana and as necessary, our security team. Our response times have been outstanding. Nearly every request has been addressed within an hour of receiving the request from a shareholder or business owner. On average, Clean Street removes 6.8 tons of pedestrian trash and 8.9 tons of trash from street per month. They also pick up bulky items upon request, pressure wash, and maintain the district medians. This year, continued our practice of competing <coughs> a large tr uh, tree trimming project on main streets. In September, we've trimmed the medium trees in Hong Kong orchids located on North Highland Avenue. This came out to approximately 60 trees. We are also in the process of redesigning the medians and selecting a landscape company to complete the beautification of all six medians on North Highland Avenue. As we realize there is a situation of people experiencing homelessness that have moved into our district during the COVID-19 pandemic. The bid has taken an empathetic view towards the homelessness. Okay. We have a poor with many of them and enlist their cooperation when we clean and sanitize their encampments. We have had less trouble and more satisfied stakeholders. Before this policy, the bid would receive complaints. Now, most of our are to thank us. In fact, many outside the bid adjacent property owners call us daily, congratulating us for our successful cleaning program and requesting services. Um, people, <laughs> Uh, mute and um, then it's clear for everyone to hear. Um, although the arts have been significantly sidelined over the past several months, our arts committee has been busy. Alongside representatives from public health and artist unions, committee members have been working hard to craft guidelines for a safe return to live performances. Two weeks ago, the County Department of Public Health expanded its safety protocols for drive-in theaters to include live performances. And the BID's LGBT Center has jumped right in. They're the first to produce a live show in LA County for an audience in cars. Our COVID safety task force has also met, excuse me, um, this is, Diane, can you go back to the last screen? Yeah. Our, our COVID safety task force has also met with the governor's Go Biz group to urge parallel guidelines from the state, and we are assured they are coming soon. Although the Arts Committee Chair, Martha Dempson, has been invited by Assembly Richard Bloom to participate in a roundtable group to work on legislation to help support small art businesses. We appreciate the assembly support and recognition of our arts community in this challenging time. Other members of the committee have continued to look for ways to contribute to the vibrancy of the bid. Most of our galleries are now open by appointment. Other, others invite us to do their curated shows online. Many of our theaters are offering free streaming performances from chamber musicals to new work festivals. So now um, what I'd like to do is um, if uh, the sergeant is online, is uh, ask the sergeant to say a few words. One moment. Oh, oh, did we have this? I didn't have that. The social media stats. Um, I can go over that. Our recent breast cancer awareness post was the most liked post in the two years. We have obtained uh, our growth by targeting active users in and around the media district to ensure that we will con constantly growing and expanding our reach and traffic. Okay. All right. So thank you, um, everybody. And now um, I'd like the sergeant to say a few words. 
Okay, she is still muted. Okay. One moment. There she is. Detective Ganey. Just a moment, we'll have the sergeant. Sergeant Ganey. She she's on. <laughs> we'll tell her to unmute herself. She's not muted. She just put in the chat, can you not hear me? So it looks like she's having a problem with um, her. Uh, okay. So make to the questions from the stakeholders. Well, maybe the detective tries to reconnect and, and uh, get her audio working. Okay, she is trying to reconnect. Okay, let's give her a moment. I'll give her a moment. Yes. I, I, I see that the detective is muted. Yeah, I just asked her to unmute. And now she's unmuted. Okay. Okay, she is going to join from her phone. Oh, okay. She's working, yeah, she's working on it. All right, so we'll get the audio. So, we could open the floor up for questions. Yeah, uh, why don't we open the floor to questions while we wait for the sergeant? Does any- um, Yeah, I have a question. Yes, is that Jacqueline? Yes. Hi, yes, I sent a letter. I'm on was on the original board the first year, and I'm still very yeah. interested in things that the board is doing. But 2021, they're redistricting, and I asked you to try to get our district under one councilman instead of two, instead of being divided down Highland East and West. I would like to see the district all under one councilman, one fire department and one police department instead of two of each. Well, well Jacqueline, um, that's a great wish. Um, and by the way, I love your Starbucks. That's a great property. Oh yeah, I'm so lucky. Honest to God, of all the things that happened to me, I spent 15 years cleaning up that gasoline problem it cost me a million eight hundred thousand but yeah. it's finished well yeah. it, it, it's very impressive as far as your concern i mean we will um express your concern to the city but we almost as a big have no control because the city 
creates these districts and um, we're at their whim and the police department have their districts. So, I, I mean, we, we'll definitely keep your concerns in mind when we talk. Yes, to but the next year they're doing something about it and maybe it, it would happen. Well, uh, we, we will put a good word in. It's a it's very not good this word. year. It's next year. That's the year they're going to do something. Okay. Okay. Right. I've said my Thank piece. You. Thank Thanks. you, Jack. All right. Next, does anyone have any questions? Sergeant Gaining is, is installing WebEx, and she'll be right on. <laughs> well, let's let's wait for the sergeant, and then we'll take some more questions. Is the Hollywood Center Studios the guy who sold out, you know, in the last couple, two years ago? Is he still active? I know. Um, the Singer family sold the studio to uh, Hudson Pacific, who owns... Yeah, for a lot of money, like $18 million per studio. Uh, I, I don't know how much, but it was a lot of money. Yeah, well, um, I know how much. Anyhow, is he active in this group? Uh, they they do have a um, member on our board, yes. Oh, that's good. Yeah, he was a, a wonderful person to have in the district. Yes, um, I remember he personally uh, paid for fencing on your property out of his pocket, I remember. Uh, so uh, he was a good uh, Samaritan and a philanthropist and We'll miss him, but he sold the studio to Hudson Pacific. Um, well, we, we I, I don't regret that he's sold or made all the money. I just wondered whether he still cared about the media bid. <laughs> I'm sure he cares, but he doesn't own property in the district. So, um, oh, oh, okay. So if he's not a property owner, he's not part. Okay. Yes. Mr. Um, all right. Are we still waiting for the sergeant, Diana? We are. How about if every all with the stakeholders present would uh, would like to introduce themselves? Yes, that would be a great idea. Uh, maybe you can call their name because otherwise we'll have a lot of people speaking at once. Absolutely. Go down the list here. Well, Some of, I don't have names for everybody, so. Okay, so Jacqueline, why don't you go first? <clears throat> what do you want to know? Uh, <laughs> why don't you introduce yourself? Well, I was on the very first media board and I never expected how much they were gonna accomplish, but they sure did a bang up job all these years. Thank you. Uh, Gail Wong. Hi, Gail. Hi there. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, this is Rick Howard. I'm I'm with Occidental Entertainment, and so is Gail. She's having a little okay. trouble with her audio right now. Got it. Okay, let's move on then. Mr. William Frazier? Oh, he's on. My, na my name is William Clippinger. Oh, hi there, Mr. Clippinger. Hi, Diane. <laughs> hi, Diana. Hi, nice Mr. Luster. You, Hi, uh, Mr. Nice to have you on uh, the call. Just uh, uh, looking in on you guys, and uh, my cohort is there at on the uh, the meeting, and her name is Susan Shore, and Susan is uh, uh, my tenant, my great tenant for the last 
10 years plus because I'm retired. And I just wanted to make sure that her answers are her answers were answered. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. All right, thank you. Uh, Sergeant Ganey, can you hear us now? Detective Ganey? Hello? Okay, all right, well, let's continue. Uh, Susan, Susan Shore. I, as, as Mr. Clippinger just introduced me, we've been a tenant there we're right on the corner, and I was actually instrumental in um, getting some type of no right turn, or, or no left turn at our corner, because we had quite a few traffic collisions there and hitting the building. So after many letters and with the city, they finally did something about it. I was very happy about that. Thank you. And then we have a few call-in users. Um, I don't know who they are, four, five, and six. Then uh, Chris Capo. Hi, I'm Chris Capov. I'm the West Coast Director of Ralph Pucci uh, West Coast on McCadden. We've been here about um, three and a half years. Uh, Ralph Pucci, the owner, uh, has owned the building a little longer, but we've been physically in this space for about three and a half years. We're on McCadden between Santa Monica and Romaine. <clears throat> Next to me. Hi, Chris. Hey, how Hi. are you? Good. <laughs> I only see you on a TV screen now. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I'll drop by and see you. Come on. Cool. We're still friends. <laughs> hey, I used to call Ron the mayor of McCadden. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I had to give it up to Timothy. Where's Timothy? He's on He's on some sort of a leave. He's actually not uh, working right now. Oh, too bad. Okay, we like him. Hope he comes back. Mm. Yeah. He's still on the board, right, Jeff? Yeah, he's on the board. Um, uh, I think he's uh, in the suburb. Maybe he's there with his... He moved in with his parents or something. I don't know. Uh, he's not at the studio right now in McCannon. Mm -hmm. I know his mom was very sick. Oh, yeah, I see. I've been busy. That, that's, I'm sorry to hear that, but um, yeah, your building's one of the most beautiful, Chris. I always love walking by it. Stop in next time you're in the area. I definitely will. Uh, I love it. It has the feng shui. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Diane, any, uh, anyone else? Um, well, it seems like a few people are definitely having problems with, uh, with your with the uh, sound and video connecting, uh, China and Sergeant Ganey are still not able to get in. Okay. Um, well, uh, we might miss the, the sergeant. I don't know. Uh, should we give the sergeant a few more moments? Maybe we should go back to using Zoom instead of WebEx. <laughs> Maybe Zoom would have been better. I don't know. Uh, does, is there can anyone guys, else? Can you guys hear me? Can yeah. you guys hear me? So uh, I don't know if you saw this or not, Sergeant Ganey, in, in the in the chat. But if you just click on the arrow next to the mute unmute button, it gives you a bunch of different options there, and it's possible that you just have to select one of the different microphone uh, settings there. Uh, yeah, she oh, said that uh, she tried. Uh, work with WebEx. She has to go into participant as, as opposed to chat. Um. Is, uh, are there any other questions? Don't be shy. <laughs> Okay, and there's no more questions. So we're just waiting for the sergeant. Maybe people will have questions of her. Um, he gives her report of what's happening in Hollywood. Um, hey, Jeff, it's Chris from Pucci again. I had a question about your, uh, the thing about making a, a report on the, the BID website. 
I don't think I actually about like trash pickup or something. I don't think I'm familiar with what that website is. I, I have done things to the 311 app th from LA City who got a, a, a camper parked on our street. I uh, got rid of them after they'd been there for a few weeks. But is there a, there's another place to um, request cleaning and stuff? Yeah, um, on the media district uh, website and uh, it goes to Diana and then she um, uh, will get it to clean street and within an hour uh, we've been Hi, it's Diana. Um, we've been able to uh, address the problem with under an hour uh, almost always within the within the district. You know, if it's something we can do, um, you know, we, which I, you know, I reported what we can do. Um, you know, we got a lot of capability and we, we have advocacy. If you have a problem, just we can get to the right city official for you. Great. Yeah. I, I um, you know, we, we have a lot of power. Uh, <laughs> not the city, but we, 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 we're doing good for our stakeholders. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, it's a lot of technical difficulty here. Um, well, this uh, Diana's on the phone with the sergeant. Um, okay, let me, I'll recommend that and I'll let you know. see what happens. Okay. Yeah, she, I'm so sorry. She's not able to join us through WebEx. And uh, although she would, she has a lot to share with us and uh, apologizes. And if we wanted to hop onto a Zoom at any point, she said she'd be happy to reschedule. Okay, well, you know, we did the best we could. New technology. I'm um, sorry we didn't have our meeting like usual at a fine uh, restaurant in our district with food and wine, but the COVID-19. Um, does anyone have any comments or questions before we adjourn? I'd like to say hello to Al Sweet. Do you see him at any of the meetings or just his representative from Occidental Studio? Well, I think Rick Howard could probably answer that, how Al is doing. Yeah, thank you so much for that question. I appreciate that a lot. Al's doing well, but he is retired now, and he, uh, he has his home in Malibu, and um, we've been trying to get people out there to visit him uh so he well, i'd love to go and visit him please tell him i'd love to come out and chat we oh, have years very... of experience together that's very kind of you thank you so much yeah that i'm anxious to see him before either one of us kicks off <laughs> well hopefully that will be sometime from now well you uh, never know all right. Well, stay healthy, Jacqueline. Um, all right. Is, is there anything else before we adjourn? You know, it might be us, uh, Ayana and Bill. Why don't you introduce yourselves to the stakeholders? Oh, hello, stakeholders. I am Ayana Sapavda. I'm one of the captains here for AGS and the security department. And it's a pleasure to meet you guys. Thank you. I'm Bill Stankowitz, I'm the other uh, co-manager. We've been here for about six weeks now. Uh, we're really looking forward to working with all of you. We're going to be coming out, uh, making individual visits to come and introduce ourselves in person. Uh, we'll be doing that really shortly. We're looking forward to it. All right. Thank you, Bill. All right. Um, I guess uh, that will conclude our meeting for 2020. Um, you know, we have the website. Uh, you can always get a hold of us. And uh, we look for a uh, healthy and successful and prosperous year next year. Thank you. Jeff, Jeff I, uh, I think Susan was trying to ask something. Oh, please. I was. I just want to know if there's any update on the homeless situation. And the biggest concern is the bathroom situation. Um, well, the, the homeless, well, you know, go ahead, Diana, you can answer that. Uh, well, how about if we have security since they're. Okay. However, I, I can go ahead and elaborate right now. We are definitely are monitoring um, all of we monitoring the district. 
and keeping track of all of the encampments. And every time that we receive a service request, there are several things that go immediately into action. And the first thing that happens is that I, I am alerted and also uh, Captain Bill Sankwitz and also uh, Captain Sepulveda and also our secure, our um, Clean Street team are immediately alerted and we make sure that that area is within the district and then security goes and checks it out. And we, what we've done is we have started to build rapport with those experiencing homelessness and we encourage them to allow us to clean and sanitize, which also encourages them to move locations, which is what has, which is what we have seen happen over the past several months. And um, there are porta potties located on the streets, and the restaurants are beginning to slowly open. Um, and also, we have care, the Care Plus teams that are also servicing our district now as well. Thank you. We constantly report to 311 and to the district. Is that the correct protocol? Uh, it is. However, you know, Bill and, and Cindy, you may want to elaborate on the protocol as well as from a from a legal standpoint. We are not physically able to move or touch or remove any property. Um, like so, like I said, our approach that we have taken is is to build rapport and and to try and en encourage those experiencing homelessness to move to a different location or provide outreach. Thank you. We and do I, make, we do go and make contact with them. We do make a contact with them whenever we get a call for service. And we've actually had some really good success, but by telling them that we're not there to take their things or to force them to move, but tell them that we'd be happy to, to remove anything that they don't anymore and the last two or three large encampments that we've gone to uh within the last uh 10 days to two weeks we've actually had really good success by uh reaching out and telling them that you know again we're not going to steal their things or force them to move but once we've done that they've actually been really good about weeding through all of their things we just had one over by hollywood toe and the guy let us take two full giant pickup trucks worth of stuff cut his cut his uh, uh encampment down probably by 60 70 percent it was really amazing how much it was and once we talked to them and, and established that rapport they're a lot better at giving giving up their things and letting us take the garbage out and things like that but we are you know sort of limited to what we can do legally if they want to keep their things it was interesting that we, I just saw an, an, uh, a story on the news just the other day where this is a, you know, an ongoing problem throughout all of Los Angeles. And a lot of the people uh, are calling their district uh, representatives to get into contact with the mayor and say that, you know, his policy of hands off is just not working anymore. And we're starting to make some headway into getting that policy changed. But as of right now, that that is what the policy is. We we can't force them to to move or to empty off the sidewalk. And some of the uh, another approach that we've taken is we've actually um, we've gone out and we've you know we've gone out to some of the encampments and we've in advance let them know you know we're going to be coming by and cleaning on such and such a date. And we're going to be bringing food and you know drinks, and so we actually have gone out on many occasions, and we have um, purchased meals and distributed them, and you know to build a rapport. And so we we've gotten quite a bit of cooperation um, from I'm going to say almost 99% of the people on the streets 
And so we we exchange, we speak to them and we, you know, we pass out McDonald's meals and breakfasts and, and water and they know who we are and they know when we come, we're not a threat. And so they know, you know, they want, they want, they would like their area to be clean just as much as we would. And so they do, they pick up everything. They let us uh, pick up all their trash. They move, we clean, we sanitize. And sometimes they move back and sometimes they don't, but we have seen a great success in this procedure. So we're continuing Hi. with that. Sorry, I just wanted to comment as well. Hi, Susan, on, on what you're saying, and thanks so much for um, for speaking up. You know, we have a really bad encampment on wearing, which I believe you're close to us. And what yes. I've realized over the last year of dealing with that encampment is that it really is a group effort. And, you know, the board, which I've been a part of for a couple of years now, has really done a good job of um, working together and figuring out the hot spots and staying consistent. We've reached out to um, the different outreach teams, you know, who are servicing our areas and our encampment in particular, I can't tell you how or why or what exactly happened to make it happen, but I think it's the, you know, the energy and different people of the community and the stakeholders who are all contributing to this, but, you know, our encampment, there's, you know, originally there was probably like four or five or six encampments and now there's only two that are there. And they haven't come back in full force, you know, whatever that means. I mean, I can't speak to, you know, some of the other encampments. All I can speak of is from my experience with the encampments. But, you right. know, it's great to see that there is progress being made. And I think, you know, we have to stay on top of reporting it. Diana does a wonderful job of, you know, being consistent. You know, we're trying to keep the areas clean. And, um, you know, it's, it's great to see everybody kind of doing their part to, to help us with this because, you know, the more help that we can get from everybody and reporting and seeing what's going on, the more information, the more effective we're going to be in helping. So, you know, thank you for speaking up. And, and of course, as things come up and, and any more issues, you know, please report it to the bid on the website. It's really easy to do, or you can call the bid and, um, you know, we're on top of it as, as much as we, as much as we can be. And I think um, for any of the stakeholders that are on the call, you've seen that, and I know especially Mr. Clippinger and probably Susan, you as well, that as soon as you put in your request or you call me, we are on it. You know, within Agreed. an hour, we are definitely out there and security is out there and we are talking to the folks on the street and doing everything we can, you know, to help you out. Um, so it's, it's, it's a difficult situation, it's challenging and, I, I do feel you and have empathy for both sides and we are definitely, you know, doing every testing every way we can just, you know, to see how we can make it work for both parties. Yeah, it's hard because I can't even walk on the sidewalk. I have to walk in the middle of the street to get to the office. So, and my employees do. So as you can imagine. It's terrible. All right. Um, if that concludes the questions, uh, I will, call the end to this meeting and wish everyone a uh, happy Thanksgiving and holidays and we'll have a great year next year. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye. Thanks, Jeff. Bye bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, baby. How are you doing? Yeah. Thank you. How did things go with the doctor? Okay. I mean, she just had to do this. I thought about meeting at the stress test. Yeah. And 
Yeah. What about that letter he wrote you? Letter? That's fine. What do you mean? So was it worth going back back a second time? I or not, hear him say. Well, he, he wanted to make sure because of that. That originally I went because of this pinch nerve thing. Yeah. So he wanted to make sure with that. And then, oh, but it's not worth going back because it's uh, waited so long, like uh, 45 minutes over there. That's whole. Out, outside, you know. And then uh, if it, they took me inside of that, uh, 245 to 250. Then, then I still have to wait until three. 315, it's a meeting is like 15 minutes. Then what a waste of time. I know. Could have done like a, uh, what you call them, health? Yeah, telehealth. talk over the phone. Yeah, or telehealth. Yeah. But I'm okay, I don't have to go back to him. So why did you go? Because Dr. Giran said he should go. That's why. But you're healthy. I'm healthy. I mean, heart-wise, it's okay. Everything's okay. <sighs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Jeez. So I think so. How was the meeting thing went? It was really quiet, and there was nobody complaining except for Susan and I. <laughs> oh, about the, the the painting, or or the the uh, homeless. Homeless, mostly. Mostly. Susan's pissed that she can't walk by. Yeah. And um, how's that? Um, We're the only people complaining. <laughs> why is that? I don't know. It's just a very sh short meeting. It was a big deal, I thought. Yeah. They were going to make an announcement, but they yeah. said, see you next year. Next year. Huh? Yeah. But they, uh, they understood and they're going to work on it, uh, Isu. Yeah, they were working on it. Hello, Mercy. <laughs> Hey, Mercy. It's a big nothing for me, too, going there. And then Krista texted me that no one 15 right, and so I said, yes, please. Because that's going to disturb the thing. Oh, you can sell it? I don't know. Just looking to see the prices. Oh. A couple thousand dollars. One? One. Is that new or old? Look at this. This is 20,000, 2,700. Uh huh. So let's just put that on then. Two it's... of them. That's how much is that one? Which one? Me. That, 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 that one? That one. 2,060. So, we just can have to wax it and it looks pretty. Shine it up. Shine it up. That's not new, right? Hi, Monkey. Hi. I just have to ask Krista if if she can help us to put it on the Craigslist or whatever this is. Right? Yeah. <sighs> okay, I, go take your shower, honey. I, I got to drink something and eat something else. <sighs> Let me wash my hand first. I already made it. I cleaned everything.
Yeah, I will, I, while I was waiting outside, the, that doc, doctor, doc, Dr. Palmer was in, in and out in that uh, you know, reception area. Yeah. Yeah, so I thought, you know, he's free, fast. Yeah. No. Asshole. But I don't have to go back there, which is good. I just have something to drink. Shut up. Yeah, again, that, you know, with the, uh, I just take all that thing. You what? Uh, that, you know, like put it on your hands and then do mm -hmm. this, that I had to take. Uh, some big things up, out there I, uh, in front of the gate. I don't know who that is. But. Did you look at the name? No, I didn't go get out the car. Did did you go walk up and see who it belonged to? Okay, I'll go do that right now. No, just go. Take... I'll go. Just take a shower. That is not us because I never would be going. <sighs> Let me just drink something and then I, I, I take your time. Have a problem to be at. And then six o'clock that everybody comes, so all I do is it's not that many much so. Next week I had to bake a cookie tomorrow or something because I didn't order the cookie. You didn't have any problem joining, right? Uh, at first, but then I got in. What do you mean, at first? I got in. You got in? Yeah. Providence. I have to look into the unlimited, uh, Kindle Unlimited, and then other things. That insurance thing, right? Pardon? Hmm?
in the pink nose thing that, that he said. I'm busy, honey. Okay. Who is it? Huh? It's still in the shower cream. Maybe she sticky is not going to have a dry one. Okay. Um, Mommy's going to take a shower. Gotcha.
sirvita. Sí, eh.